Hey guys, this is Ben with Off-Road Recon, and today we're gonna to show you how to flat tow a Jeep Wrangler uh, behind your RV or truck or whatever you wanna to flat tow it behind. So I wanna to touch on some bullet points right off the get-go, uh, some of the questions that I had whenever I was gonna to flat tow. Number one, do you need a transmission cooler or anything like that? No, with a Jeep Wrangler, you can put the transfer case in neutral, and then you put your uh, machine back in park to ensure that you are in neutral, and that's how you tow it, you'll tow it in park. Question number two, with the ignition, does it lock the steering wheel? You do not have an ignition lock, so you can take your key out of the ignition and continue to, to flat tow it and your steering wheel will turn freely. What we're gonna be flat towing with is a, a brake buddy and then um, there's many different ways to do um, the braking system when you're flat towing. Um, there's these brake buddies which basically run off of a compressor and then there's a remote switch that you just plug into the cigarette lighter on the inside of your motorhome. Um, that's the route that we went. There's also a cable route that pulls your brake pedal when you push the brake pedal on the inside of your rig. So we'll go through hooking that up. Um, the other thing that you'll need is this is your uh, pin connector for your brake lights and there's a harness that actually connects your uh, existing tail lights and brake lights into your motorhome so you don't have to have uh, magnet pods or anything like that and I will copy those in the link below. You've got your cables, your safety cables in case it comes unhooked. And then you've got your breakaway emergency brake if your trailer or your rig was to come unhooked from your motorhome or whatever you're towing it behind, this would engage the brakes so that you may, you know it wouldn't go down the road. So we actually have a blue ox tow bar. This is the aluminum tow bar. And what you have here at the bottom is uh, these are our brackets and these are the universal brackets. These are the universal brackets and these brackets you can get on Amazon and I'll copy them in the link below as well. This is part of the Hopkins. Um, this is part of the Hopkins, uh, so you can hook your lights up to your uh, your lights on your rig and make your tail lights work as your trailer lights. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do: pull the pin on our blue ox tow bar, line that up with our universal brackets down here on the bottom. Okay, just like that. And we'll do the other side. And these have room to adjust so you can get them in there easily. Okay, now these need to be in the upward position. That, that allows the tow bar to extend. And these just hook onto your frame or onto your bumper that's attached to your frame somewhere is, so whenever, it, uh, you know, if it was to come unhooked. This is your breakaway brakes, emergency brakes. Now something else that's important is when you're towing, you want your point of tow from your hitch to the rig that you're pulling behind it to be pretty straight. And as you can see, we're pretty close to that. Okay. This wire here is for your brake lights. This will let your rig lights control your brake lights and your tail lights on your Jeep. Just plugs into your normal brake spot. And then the other end is a four pin connector which plugs into the Hopkins connector, which I will link below in the description. Okay, so now that we've got the trailer brakes or trailer lights hooked up, so that's from here to here. Let's move to the inside and we'll show you how to put this thing in the proper gear and transfer case position so that you don't tear your transmission out when you go to tow, because that's super important. Okay, so coming in here, you gotta put your key in. You will start your Jeep. You will pull it down into neutral. Okay, now you will pull your 
transfer case down into neutral. And sometimes you may have to put it in uh, reverse or drive to get it to go on a four wheel drive just because that's the way it works. So now that we're in four wheel drive, we'll flip it over and pull down, oop, pull down one more time just to go into neutral. Okay. Now to double check that we're in neutral, you always want to put it in drive. See, it shows that I'm in neutral, but I'm not. It's still in drive. Okay, so now give it a little wiggle. Oh, I just heard it clicking in neutral. Okay, there's four wheel drive. Okay, now I'm in neutral. Test it. Now, we're not going anywhere. That's something that I always do is make sure you put it back into reverse while you're in neutral and drive to ensure that you are, your transfer case is in neutral. Okay, and what that does, it makes sure that you are not in gear when you put this thing back in park and then you take off in your motorhome and you'll tear the transmission right out of the bottom of it. Okay, so now with your Jeep in neutral still, turn the Jeep off. Now you want to move your transmission back into park. So move your transmission back into park, leave your transfer case in neutral. Okay, now what that does is that ensures that when you go to pull it, if it was in park, it would stop you. It would, you would feel resistance. But if your transfer case is in the proper position, it will not. There is no steering column lock. So your steering wheel will move freely as it needs to. Now, for the brake buddy. You can use a, you can use a brake buddy or a Patriot braking system or whatever. They're pretty much all the same. And the way that they work is, this goes around your brake pedal. You wanna get down in here? Like so. So that goes up over your brake pedal. Then you wanna push this as far forward as you can. And then put your seat on it for pressure, okay? Now, most of you guys driving a Jeep Wrangler, in your console is your power, your 12 volt power that is constant. That's the cigarette lighter you want to use. If you plug it into one that's not constant, it won't work. So I've actually made myself one right here that's convenient on a toggle switch. So I know when I flip that toggle switch on, it's on no matter what. Now you're going to hear the compressor pumping up. Okay? When it's doing that, what I want to be doing is come back here and make sure that my tail lights are off. And as you can see, they're off. Okay? What that means is that the brake is close enough to work, but not close enough to engage. So now, to test and make sure it's working properly, you hit this auto start button. Okay? As you can see, it's working the brakes. And I always double check on the taillights. Taillights are on, taillights are off. Hits the brake and they're on. Now, how we know that that's working in the, in the motorhome, you have a controller on the inside of the motorhome that tells you when your, your Jeep is braking or when it's not. And the way that it determines that is when you hit the brakes in the motorhome, it notices that in, out here and it'll work the brakes with your Jeep at the same time. You do not need to leave your keys in the ignition and the ignition on. Turn it off, put it in park, ensure that you're neutral, uh, your transfer case is in neutral, and you're ready to flat tow. Now the first thing that I always do is I get in my rig, I pull forward until it's locked up, pull it forward about 10 feet, and then I get out and double check everything. Just make sure it's rolling smoothly, make sure that your cables are tight, make sure everything's in order. Okay. That's how you flat tow a Jeep, guys. If this video helped you out, please don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a, subs a subscription if you're new to the channel. Check out some of our episodes that we do. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the trail.